Hello and welcome. This is ECE 350, uh, a course at the University of Waterloo. ECE 350 is a course with the title of Real-Time Operating Systems, and the calendar description says Memory and Virtual Memory and Caching, I.O. Devices, Drivers, and Permanent Storage Management, Process Scheduling, Queue Management in the Kernel, Real-Time Kernel Development, Aspects of Multi-Core Operating Systems. Uh, and it's typically offered in the winter and the spring. Now, um, the prerequisite for this course is EC252, and it's intended for you know, 3A computer engineering or electrical engineering students. So here's the thing about EC252 as a prerequisite. Uh, not only did I very likely teach you that course, uh, I'm certainly the person who developed the course, so I know what's in it, uh, and my expectation is that you know what's in it as well. Now, uh, there are some lecture topics in this course that review some of the material that we looked at in EC252, uh, and sometimes that is just this setting the stage kind of thing so that we can examine it in some more detail afterwards, uh, or we can go behind the scenes and take a look and see how it works. But my expectation is you know that stuff and you, know, you have the competency in C programming and everything that goes with having taken EC252 and ideally done well. If for some reason you haven't, you always have the option to review. There's both notes, uh, slides, and the videos for that course available. Uh, and yes, if uh, for some reason you, know, you wanted to um, review those just in case, um, well, that's always an option because yeah, the YouTube videos are always there. So you're welcome to take a look. Uh, and uh, anything that uh, you felt was missing, well, now, now at the beginning of the term is probably a good time to revisit it. So a little bit more about the course. Uh, as per usual, we will have Learn, we will have Piazza, there's the YouTube videos, which you've already found your way to, uh, and we'll also use GitLab. Uh, and again, if you took EC252, you would presumably have signed up for GitLab uh, at some point, but we will, um, if you haven't, uh, we will use it for um, in-class exercises and potentially you'll use it for your labs. Uh, so notes and slides, um, as always, are in GitHub, and you can see them, and you're welcome to browse them uh, at any time. Uh, and the videos you've already found here, uh, and the rest of this playlist should have uh, the remainder of them. Now, in terms of if you're just watching the lectures, if you're just watching online, then the expectation is you should watch about two and a half hours per week. But you'll notice that there's not quite as many lecture hours in video form as there would normally be. That's because for some of our lecture sessions, we are going to do in-class exercises. Uh, and in-class exercises are not for marks, not even participation marks, but they are a good way for us to take some of the things we've talked about and learn and uh, apply them. And so I strongly encourage you to attend those if you are able. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's gonna be six of them and those will be uh, available in GitLab. So you're welcome to take the exercises and do them. And hopefully they will reinforce the things that we talk about as lecture content. In terms of textbook, well, the course material is primarily based on three textbooks um, and they are uh, fundamentals of uh, operating systems, operating systems internals, uh, and modern operating systems. Um, and you'll see them linked uh, in the course syllabus. And do you need any of them? I'm gonna say no. Um, I think the course notes and the videos and such should be sufficient for you to take the course and for you to do well. Uh, and the textbooks are good as a secondary reference, but also to some degree I read them so you don't have to. Um, and uh, finally, to um, tell you about the syllabus and everything, there's going to be a lot of stuff in there that is um, term specific. You know, what's going on now? Um, versus uh, the time when you watch these videos and the hope is the videos are kind of evergreen. So to, I do encourage you to uh, review the syllabus and to take a look at the information that's there uh, as it will contain more detail about scheduling oddities for the term or the teaching assistants, um, but also things like what um, contingency provisions are there for what if we have to go to online learning again. Those sorts of things uh, are all covered in the current version of the syllabus, and I really recommend that you uh, take, a, take a minute to review that before we go on. In the next topic, uh, I'm going to talk about the labs. Uh, in fact, it's so extensive a topic that it has its own video. Um, so see you in that one.